Hello guys, I'm Real Academy here and welcome back to part 2 of the Portal tutorial series. In today's tutorial, I will be telling you how to set up the portal gun as well as how to shoot portals from it where the player is looking and ensure that it spawns with its rotation facing the player. So let's start. Open up your character blueprint that we created and go to the viewport, search for component arrow and add it to the scene. Make it a child component of the first person camera and move it up into the hole of the gun. Hit compile. Do not make it a child component of the first person gun since the idle animations of the player cause the gun to move around as well as the recoil animation causes the portal gun to go way up which will cause the portals to spawn in the wrong location. Now in the spawn projectile, delete the input action fire and replace it with middle mouse button. Hit compile, search, right click and search for spawn portal, portal 1, and also search for right click, right mouse button. When the player presses the right mouse button, it's going to spawn portal 1, and left portal, left mouse button is going to spawn, spawn portal 2. Add a comment that says spawns, spawn portal. Compile, copy this, and paste it into the spawn portal 1 function, and hit compile. Drag out the execution pin of the montage play and search for line trace for objects. The starting point will be the arrow, location of the arrow we just created, so get world location, and plug in the return pin of the world location into the start of the line trace for objects, hit compile. It's going to give the error, the, it, the object's type is invalid. Just drag and drop it out here and search for make array. Leave the make array as it is. Get the arrow one forward vector. Get forward vector. Multiply it by an integer. I'm going to set it to 5000. And add this to the world location. This plus the world location. And plug it into the end of the line trace. What this does is it gets the forward vector of the arrow. Uh, it's, if it's x, then it's going to return 1 in the x of the forward vector. And then you're going to multiply it by 5,000. So the x becomes 5,000 units. And then add that 5,000 units to the world, current world location. And then plug it into the endpoint. So the endpoint will be 5,000 units forward in the x direction. Drag out the out hit and get the break hit result to break the hit result and get multiple different things. Drag out this execution pin here and search for spawn actor from class and the actor will be portal 1. Split this up, split, and plug in the location from the break it result into the spawn transform location. Hit compile, and now, now let's see if it works. Play. You can see the portal is spawning, where the player is pointing at. However, there is one multiple problem. There are multiple problem. First is that the portal always spawns facing the x direction, which is the default rotation of the portal. And if it spawns, if it spawns on a wall, it's going to spawn inside it. It's going to spawn inside the wall. Another problem is that when I spawn the portal, the previous portal does not get deleted. This can cause a huge FPS drop on even powerful hardware such as the GTX 1060. Right now with only one, two, three, four, five portals, I'm getting 30 FPS. And if I go full screen, you can see what its effect has when I have multiple portals set up. So we are going to create a function to destroy these portals and only allow one portal at a time. Disconnect these nodes from the spawn actor portal one node. Drag out the execution pin of the line trace for objects and then just set portal one forward vector to the impact normal. And we're also going to set the portals portal one location. Create a new variable for that portal one location. Do the same for portal 2. Portal 2 location, the variable type will be vector. Hit compile, move it a bit forward. Drag out the portal 1 location and set portal 1 location. The location will be equal to the impact point of the break hit result. And the forward vector will be equal to the impact normal of the break hit result. Drag out this pin here and do a branch, branch check. Get the portal 1 forward vector and split its struct pin. Drag out the x pin and search for equal equal float. If 
it's equal to one, meaning that if the forward vector, if the portal is facing the x-axis, we're going to set its rotation, set portal one rotation to face the x-axis. Now, what should the rotation of the portal one be to face the x-axis? Let's check by dragging and dropping it into our viewport. You can see that it's facing the x-axis at the rotation of zero, zero, zero. So I'm going to keep the portal one rotation to zero, 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 and also set the portal, portal one location to move forward by one. So get portal one location, and we're going to move it forward in the x-axis so that it does not spawn inside the wall. Add one in the x-axis. And now we're going to connect the execution pin of set portal one location into the spawn actor portal one. Compile. We're going to also plug in the portal one location into this spawn transform location and the portal one rotation into the spawn transform rotation. Straighten the connection and straighten the connection. Compile. Now let's see if it works. If I hit play, you can see it no longer spawns inside the wall. We're going to do this for every axis. So X, we have done the X axis. We're also going to do the negative X axis. So drag out this X, portal one forward vector X pin. And if it's equal to negative one, meaning it's facing negative X axis, we're going to rotate the portal to face negative X axis. So the rotation of the portal should be negative 180. So just set the Z to negative 180 and plug it into the spawn actor portal one. Copy this, paste it here, and do the same for Y axis. If the portal is facing the positive Y axis, we're going to set its rotation to 90 degrees in the y Z axis. In the Z axis, 90. Over here, instead of adding to the X axis, we're going to subtract from the x-axis because the portal has been spawned at the positive x-axis and we have to move it forward to the negative x-axis. So to do that, we're just going to subtract one from the x-axis and over here, we're going to add one to the y-axis to move it to the positive y-axis. Paste the, the code again. And this time, if the forward vector, if the portal is facing the negative y-axis, we're going to set the rotation to negative 90, so it faces the negative y-axis, negative 90, and instead of adding one in the x-axis, we're going to subtract one in the y-axis to move the portal forward in the y-axis. Copy, paste. Now do the same for z-axis. If it's facing the positive z-axis, we need to rotate it 90 degrees in the y-axis. 90 degrees in the y-axis, so 0 in the z and 90 in the y, compile, copy this, paste it here, plug in portal 1 vector z into the equal equal node, and if the portal is facing the negative z-axis, then we're going to rotate it to face the negative z-axis, which will be negative 90 degrees negative 90 degrees instead of subtracting one from the y-axis we're going to subtract one from the z-axis and instead of subtracting one from the y-axis we're going to add one to the z-axis compile plug in these node execution nodes of the set into the spawn portal one execution pin Hit compile. And now let's see if it works. Play. It's spawning there, it's spawning here, spawning here as well, here as well, on the floor as well. However, it's not destroying these actors. To destroy these actors, just go to the destroy portal one function, drag out this pin here, get all actors of class. In the actor class, search for portal one. Drag out, out actors and search for four each loop. Plug 
in the execution pit off, pin off get all lectures of class into the for each loop execution fill pin drag out the loop body pin and search for destroy actor and set its target to be the array element of the for each loop hit play go to the spawn portal one function and move it a bit to the right search for destroy portal one function Press Ctrl, click on this, and drag it to the destroy portal 1 function. Plug in the execution of this function into the spawn actor portal 1, and hit compile. It should now work. If I hit play, you can see that the portal gets destroyed before a new portal gets created. Basically, what's happening is we're checking the forward vector and setting the rotation accordingly. We already know what the rotation should be of the portal in the specified direction, so we do not have to worry. Since we're predefining, we cannot set the portal to spawn in locations which has the portal forward vector forward vector undefined. So for example, we have only we have only defined what the portal's rotation should be if the forward vector is either one or negative one. We have not defined it for any other value. If the rotation of the wall is something like something like this. For, for negative 40 degrees, the forward vector will be different, so the portal will not spawn here. However, if its rotation is 0, 0, 0, and if I play now, you can see the portal will spawn. So you have to predefine the rotation of the portal on the different surfaces, otherwise this will not work. Otherwise, the portal will not spawn. This is a limitation, and it sadly cannot be overcome. I'm now just going to clean up this code a bit, and fast forward everything. So now, now that I have commented the nodes, we're going to copy everything and do the same for spawn portal 2 node. Now the only difference will be instead of portal 1 location, we're going to use the portal 2 location variable. Instead of portal 1 forward vector, we're going to use the portal 2 forward vector. Just drag the variable from here and onto the set node. Instead of portal 1 forward vector, use portal 2 forward vector here. Control, press control, drag and drop it into the X, Y, and Z. Set, instead of set, we're going to set portal 2 rotation, 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 portal 2 rotation. We're going to get portal 2 location and set the portal 2 location. Do the same for all other nodes that are present. and hit compile and instead of calling the destroy portal 1 function we're going to call destroy portal 2 function press control and plug it into the destroy portal 1 function and plug this into the spawn actor portal 1 straighten the connection right now change the spawn transform location to portal 2 location and spawn transform rotation to portal 2 rotation straighten and straighten change the class to portal 2 just change the class to portal to compile, open up the destroy portal 2 function, drag out this node, get all actors of class, actor class portal 2, search for for each node, for each array element, destroy actor, and hit compile, and hit play. The portal is spawning and destroying, only one instance is spawning. And you can see the render target is also getting updated. And you can view what's on the other side. And that's our portal gun done. The portal spawns according to forward vector and sets its rotation. And we also destroy the portal if there is more than portals, more than one portals, and the portal does not spawn inside the wall. However, I, it does not play any sound upon spawning, which is a bit annoying to me. I want sound to play. So to know that something has actually happened. So what I'm going to do is play sound, play sound at location. And for the sound, I'm going to play orange portal. 
and location will be the actor's location get actor location target will be self since this is the first person character blueprint we can use it as it is and to spawn portal one we're going to use the sound play sound at location portal blue portal location will be get actor location get actor location and hit compile now if i play you can see that the sound is playing so we can be sure that the portal is getting created that's it for today's guys in the next video i'm going to be setting up the teleportation system for the portals as well as address some of the render target issues of the portal gun i hope you guys like this video if you did please do like share and subscribe to support me i will be uploading the sound assets online and link to them in the description and see you guys in the next video until then bye